Hello everyone, welcome to evening prayer on this Friday of the seventh week of Easter, right on the cusp of Pentecost weekend here, and uh, our gospel reading today, very familiar passage from John's gospel where Jesus pulls Peter aside after his resurrection, after they had recognized him and had breakfast with him on the shore the great catch of fish, pulls Peter aside and asks Peter three times, Peter, do you love me? And uh, calling Peter to repentance, I think, for uh, uh, his three-time denial. And, uh, of course, Peter always answers, yes, Lord, you know I love you. And Jesus' reply to him is always the same, feed, feed my sheep, tend to my sheep. The response to love is action, to do things, to to act on that love. It's one thing to just say it, but then something else to live that love. And we live our love through our lives, through our actions, through how we behave and interact with others, how much love and mercy we show to everyone in our lives. The gospel, though, concludes with uh, a statement by Jesus saying that when you're young, you dress yourselves and you go where you want, and, and says, but then when you grow old, you'll stretch out your arm and someone else will dress you and lead you to where you do not want to go. Of course, I've always looked at this as when we grow old, feeble, and caretakers tending to our needs and get dressing us. I, I lived through that uh, for many years, uh, tending to my mom uh, after her stroke. And uh, today we celebrated Mass this morning for my mom. Today uh, Mass was offered up for her and it was her would have been her 94th birthday today. She died, of course, a few years ago at the age of 90. God bless my mom. But yeah, she had to live through that where someone else would dress her and lead her wherever, whoever's, you know, leading her would take her. So, but so that there's that, you know, and looking at it that way. But I think we can look at it now while we're, (laughs) while we're all still young and, and, and we have capabilities of getting our own selves dressed and, and, tending to our needs and going where we want to go. Uh, Even at this stage in our lives, I think we have to stretch out our arm and let God dress us and let God take us where he wants us to go. Even now, even now we have to abandon our egos, abandon our agendas, our our intentions and allow God to be the one who leads us, who prepares us each day to do whatever it is he wills us to do. So not to wait till we're incapable to tend to our own needs, but even today and in all of our days whether we're young or old, to be led by our Lord. Let us pray in that attitude of surrender, surrendering to God, allowing him to tend to what it is that he needs us to do. Let let him be our our light. Let us be drawn toward him. Let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
I, the Lord, am your Savior and Redeemer. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land on his people, their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I, the Lord, am your Savior and Redeemer. Alleluia. Blessed is the kingdom of David, our Father, which has come among us. Alleluia. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion may the Lord be blessed, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, your name and your memory last forever. We stand to pray in your house and pray you and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you in your kindness to have mercy on us in our lowliness. Blessed is the kingdom of David our Father, which has come among us. Alleluia. Let us sing to the Lord glorious in his triumph. Alleluia. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing to the Lord, glorious in his triumph. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Galatians. Live in accord with the Spirit, and you will not yield to the cravings of the flesh. The fruit of the Spirit is, jo is love, joy, peace, patient endurance, kindness, generosity, faith, mildness, and chastity. Since we live by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's lead. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete, alleluia, alleluia. He will teach you all things, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete, alleluia, alleluia. Together they persevered in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus, alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things.
for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Together they persevered in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Alleluia. Let us praise and thank the Father who has poured out the grace of the Spirit on all peoples. Let us ask him for an ever greater share in his Spirit, saying, Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Lord, you gave us your chosen one as the light of all peoples. Open the eyes of the blind and lead from captivity those who sit in darkness. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. You anointed Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit for the ministry of salvation. May he once more go about the world doing good and healing all. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Send your Spirit, the light of all hearts, to strengthen the faith of those in doubt. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Send your Spirit, to, send your spirit our rest in labor, to support the weary and the brokenhearted. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Fulfill the hope of those who have died so that they may rise again at the coming of Christ. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, in glorifying Christ and sending us your Spirit, you open the way to eternal life. May our sharing in this gift increase our love and make our faith grow stronger. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night and have a wonderful weekend, Pentecost weekend. God bless you all. We'll see you tomorrow.